For measuring the absorption spectrum of our quantum dots, we're going to use the multi-scan. In this case, we're going to use the clear colorless plastic 96 foil plate. And again, use a pipette to transfer your solution into the wells, keeping track of which sample goes in which well. Again, I suggest that you select a row and use that. Also select a point, a, a well, to put just the solvent to serve as a blank. Turn on the instrument, press this button where it says start on, and it will go through a warm-up routine. While it's doing that, I'll show you here on the computer, we want to use the Scanit RE for multi-scan. And it says login. There's no password, so we'll skip that part. Uh, and the instrument isn't ready, so we have to wait, wait for the instrument to be prepared. Now that the instrument is ready, we can try to connect again here. And once it's connected, the window on the instrument says computer control and up here we have all the uh, controls that we need. We can set the temperature for the plate reader, we can uh, make it to shaking or not, and we can also um, open the tray to put the plate in. So let's plate out to open the tray, and notice how there's a little mark here that says A1 in the tray, so you want to line up your A1 a well with that corner of the tray holder and then press plate in for uh, getting ready to do the experiment. What we're going to do on the software, uh, we don't really care about the temperature for this particular experiment. Let's open uh, in the, my folder I have a protocol for what we're doing for class. So you can see in the home, it has a summary of what we're doing. Here's the well, and here's the rows I selected for samples, but uh, you probably want to change that to where your samples are at. And that's here in the Layout tab. You can select a well with the left mouse button and then right click to identify what type of well it is. Maybe this is where your blank is in A11. And down here, maybe this is where your sample is. So, uh, maybe that's not where your sample is. My sample was in H1, yours is in G1. So, uh, left click to select the cell, right click to say, well, that's one of my unknown samples I'm scanning for. And I can put in the sample name. So, sample one. Okay. Now, uh, the protocol I set was to do a scan, to take an absorption spectrum, scan starting at 450 nanometers and ending at 650 nanometers, a uh, step at every one nanometer, and I want to do this fast. So this should give decent results for our type of experiment. You see that we could also have it do shaking, uh, we could have it set at a particular temperature to incubate, we could uh, have it scan, pause, scan again, uh, and other uh, protocols we could do with the instrument. The results is going to give us a report of our spectrum uh, for each well that we scan. So notice under all these tabs you have this green arrow which will allow us to start the scanning and we'll give it a name, and there it goes. So it's going to scan the blank, and then move on and scan the next cell. And you can see it's highlighting which well it's scanning, and uh, what you can't see, because there's nothing in those wells for our demonstration, is there's a line being drawn at the bottom of each cell here, which is the actual spectrum for the sample in that well. 
and we don't need to do all of them just for this demonstration. But here now you can see, I stopped it. Here you can see in each cell is the actual scan, the spectrum for the sample that was in that well. The plate reader uh, opened so we can put away our 96 well plate and start another sample. Um, you want to save your results. So let's uh, generate a layout and a so this tells you where the different samples were. Um, and a table of the spectra. And now we can export that to a Excel file, so give it a name that makes sense to you. And then we can, and when you open that in Excel, you have tabs, this is the header information about where and where you did the scanning, how uh, how you how the scan the spectrum was set up, the layout if you're interested which sample was where, and then this is actually a spectrum. This is the absorption value at that wavelength for cell G one well G one, and so you can make a graph then. Um, over here are our blanks, so you want to subtract out the blanks from the absorption spectrum and then make a graph for your report. To turn off the instrument, we want to make sure that we remove our uh, plate from the instrument. Then we can go ahead and close up the instrument, close the software. To shut down the instrument, make sure that you have removed the plate from the plate reader. So you see that it's empty, so we can push the in out button, put the tray back in, and then press the stop off key and hold until you get the inf message that is shutting down.